Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. And this video I'm showing you the new skulk blocks in Minecraft. Yes, so I am in Minecraft and we have the skulk blocks right over here. But as you might have already noticed, I'm not in Minecraft Java Edition. No, this is Bedrock Edition. And that's because the skulk blocks were added to the experimental features in the latest Bedrock Beta. And so I'll show off all of these different blocks in this video, what they do and how they work exactly as well. So if you like micro videos like this one, then please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.19 videos and other Minecraft videos as well. So there are four new blocks in this Bedrock Beta that we haven't seen before, at least not in the game yet. So of course the Skulk Sensor was already here earlier. And so I won't be covering it in this video. I'll be focusing mainly on the skulk we see on the ground right here. The skulk veins that you see around the skulk. The skulk catalyst in the center over here. And the skulk shrieker. And we'll start off with the normal skulk block. So this is what the skulk block looks like. It actually has an animated texture. We can look at it here for a while as well. We'll see that it is animated. And the lights blink and stuff like that. So it seems like it is alive. And if you want to mine it in survival mode, then the hoe will be the tool to do it. Because if you, for example, try to punch it, it doesn't take too long, but it will be pretty much instant if you use a hoe. And there we go. You notice something probably there as well. If you mine the skulk block without using silk touch, then it will drop experience instead of the block itself. So here we can see that it drops a little bit of experience here every single time. And so if you enchant this hoe with silk touch and place down a couple more of these skulk blocks, you'll see that then, yes, we get the block back. Now there is this strange bug in this latest Bedrock Beta version, and that is that all the textures of items on the ground are black and white. And I don't know why that is, but that's just a little bug here. And if you want to know how to get into the Bedrock Beta program, then watch the video I link in the top right hand side of your screen. You can follow the tutorial there. Then next we'll move on to the skulk vein. And so this block works like the glow like, and you can place it on any side of a block. So all of these sides like right here, but also for example, and so yes, it can also be placed on the other side of blocks. So that's very nice. Of course, then you can't place a block in that same spot because there's already the skulk vein there. So very much the same as the glow lichen. And so as you saw, if you just break this, you won't get any experience and you also won't get the block back. But if you break it with silk touch, you will get the skulk vein block. And so like the skulk block, this one also has an animated texture. So let's stare at it for a while and we see it animates and lights up in various places. Very nice. And you can also of course see through it so you can see the block below the skulk vein. And then over to the two more interesting blocks. So first of all, the Skulk Catalyst. So we've already seen this during Minecraft Live. If you haven't seen Minecraft Live yet, I have a video with a little summary in the top right hand side of your screen for you to watch after this video. But if you place down or find a Skulk Catalyst and a mob near it dies, so let's say there is a chicken here, it sadly passes away. Then there we go. The Skulk Catalyst blooms, as we saw there. It takes the XP from the chicken and produces a little bit of skulk right over here. So it places down skulk blocks and skulk veins. And so this is supposed to be related to the amount of XP the mob drops, but currently that is not implemented yet in better condition. And so along with the blooming, there's also a little particle effect that appears above the skulk catalyst, as we can see there. Looks very interesting. And so we can keep doing this and the skull catalyst will bloom a lot of times and a lot of skulk will spread around it as well. So the skull catalyst also emits some lights. So let's set the time to night. And there we go. We see that it emits a very low amount of light, but it's still pretty cool. So just like the skull blocks, if you break a skull catalyst without silk touch, you will just get the XP from it. And there we go. We got just got a whole lot of XP from that skull catalyst. But if you break it with any silk touch, then you will get the block back. So that's pretty much everything for the skull catalyst so far. It's a very interesting mechanic that it actually spreads the skull when the mobs die next to it. And I'm really excited to see how this will actually work if you, for example, I don't know. If, for example, the Ender Dragon died near a Skull Catalyst, would it be like a massive amount of Skull that would suddenly spread? I have no idea. Really interested to see what happens there. Of course, they have to first implement that though. But it's already really awesome that we have this in the Bedrock Beta anyway. So then, there is of course also the Skull Shrieker, which was leaked at some point. 
and then they pretty much just showed it off during Minecraft Live as well. So once again, animated texture. All of these have animated textures, except for the Skull Catalyst, I believe. Of course, there is the animation when a mob dies next to it. There's this bloom animation. But I don't think the block itself is animated, so that's a little strange, but maybe that's just a little bug here in the beta. But here, the Skulk Shrieker is also animated, and something strange is that it's not actually a full block, so we can actually see a pixel of the block next to it here as well. And we can see that even clearer if we break that block below and replace it with, for example, dirt, so we can see one pixel of the block below, so it's a little bit smaller than a full block. And the same goes for the top as well. And so it has an inside cavity with two souls rotating around like this in a little animation. Looks very cool. And so it actually has the ability to shriek. And you can do this right now by either using a redstone signal or by standing on top of it. So in the final version, it will also be activated by activating a skulk sensor, which then the skulk sensor will activate the skulk shrieker when it will start to shriek. So that's currently not implemented yet, but if we stand on top of this skulk shrieker... Here we go. Activating the skulk shrieker. So we see these rings appear, and then we also get the darkness effect. And our world begins to dim and light back up again. So for some reason it didn't work in the previous world. It worked before and then during video recording it just stopped working. Very, very odd. So yeah, these are probably just bugs still appearing in this version. So we can try it again. If we step on it, it will... It should activate, but here we go once again. It's definitely not activating. There could be a cooldown, so let's place down a new one. No. Very strange, but apparently in the Bedrock Beta, it will only activate if you step on it or if you give it a redstone signal. But as you can see here, yeah, it's definitely not always working. So if you mine the Skulk Shrieker in survival mode without Silk Touch, once again, you will get XP. So I think this is pretty much the same amount as you get when you mine the Skulk Catalyst. And of course, if you mine it with Silk Touch, then yes, you will get the block of the Skulk Shrieker in your inventory. And yes, as you saw before, we get the darkness effect, which is a new effect as well that's been added to this Bedrock Beta. So we can take a deeper look at that as well by using the effect command. So we can give ourselves the darkness effect. Let's give it ourselves for pretty much infinite, just zero. And we, well, well, let's show the particles. Why not? So this is what the darkness effect will look like. As you can see, it will completely dim your world and then light back up and then do this multiple times until the effect runs out. So this is not exactly how they want it to be yet, and also not exactly how they showed it during Minecraft Live, but the one you saw during Minecraft Live will be the final version, so this is just not the completed version just yet. Just like this version of the Skulk Shrieker is not the final one yet either, they will still change the texture of this block over here. And so the warden is also not in this experimental toggle, it's just these four blocks and the darkness effect. So that's everything I have to show to you for today. I hope you found this video interesting and if you did then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier member this Mikkelaar who is becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to go on a member click the blue join the video to check out the different tiers. So there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all in the next one. So until then. Mm, bye bye.